has anyone else ever realized that it it's always she was crazy it's always she was way too much it's always she was obsessed with me did anyone else ever realize that it is never <laughs> i was disrespectful to her it is never i get her. It's never I cheated on her. It's never I lied to her. No, it's always she was crazy. It's never I sent naked pictures to another girl and she found out. No, it's never that. It's never I snuck around behind her back. It's never I was talking to someone else and she found out because my friends threw me under the bus. No, never that. It's always she's crazy. Right? Here's an idea. Did you ever think that maybe you're the reason that I feel crazy that I act this way? Because it's never <laughs> Never. Well, I gave her a reason to literally not trust a single word I say or a single thing I do. No, it's never that. It's always she was crazy. Check yourself, you fucker. So regarding that previous post, um, she's absolutely right in the sense that, you know, people do manipulate you and make you feel like you're fucking crazy um, because they do the sneaky shit to get you to that point but at the same token if you know that they're acting up or consistently showing that type of behavior sis fucking leave don't ever allow anybody to make you feel like you're losing your shit like don't ever allow anybody to fucking stress you the fuck out inconsistency shows a lot like some of you are so fucking adamant about keeping a relationship or being in a relationship or investing into a relationship just to fucking say you have one. Fucking leave. Like, I'm really going to be needing you guys to start fucking doing better. Elevate your mind. Elevate your body. Elevate your fucking standards. You get what I'm saying? Just so that you are not so fucking easily um, pursued, easily convinced like, some of you are so fucking desperate for somebody that you're really fucking willing to even take somebody into consideration with a fucking simple comment, with a simple show of a, of, of a fucking affection for a couple of weeks or attention. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, do you not understand that niggas be out here fucking bored? Do you not understand that bitches be out here fucking bored? Like, you need to do better, you need to be better, and you need to fucking grow the fuck up. And as I've shared this before, um, especially, for, especially for the ladies, I guess don't really care. They can take their fucking time finding their soulmate. Um, although most men don't really believe in soulmates like that, but... Uh, ladies, stop comparing yourself and where you're at to what you see online, to what you see other people achieving. It's very easy to go online and be like, oh my God, <laughs> I want that. Because that's what bitches do, right? Um, but don't do that to yourself. Don't worry about being pregnant and having a husband by this certain age. Like the, your time will fucking come. <laughs> your time will come. So many of you are so fucking feeling under pressure to achieve these things and wanting these things when you aren't even fucking whole. Like you aren't even wifey material yet. Why you want that? And stop pressuring these men that clearly aren't qualified to be husbands to commit to you in that way. I don't care how much time you've invested. I don't care if that's your mental fucking goal for your relationship. There is a lot of fucking things that they have to mark off before they are literally qualified and equipped. Let me tell you some common sense shit that women just don't fucking register. Men are going to hit it and quit it. <laughs> Men are going to hit it and quit it until they are actually ready to be a husband. So all you females in relationships that are like, oh my God, he's the one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. A man will stay and invest time into you if he's getting pussy. You know what I'm saying? If he's getting those wifey materials. Um, if he's getting those things that his mother gives him. 
You get what I'm saying? He will fucking stay. A lot of women get that fucking confused. And I have to say that because a lot of women set themselves up to have their hearts broken. They're like, oh my God, all men are the same. <sighs> all, all he wanted was pussy. I know. Understand that just like how you have to take the time to fucking prepare to be a wife. Because a lot of women have this misconception that you, you know, to be a wife, you have to be, you know, you have to be able to cook. You have to be able to clean a house. Like there's so much more that goes into play to being a wife that gets missed. Just like husbands. There's so much that it entails for you to have a successful fucking marriage with a husband that is fucking prepared to receive you. Like, some of y'all be really trying to wife niggas you find at the club. Wife. I mean, <laughs> cuff men that you find at the club trying to make them a husband. <laughs> y'all really be trying to freaking um, cuff a man, you know, that doesn't have a stable income, that switches jobs from job to job, that doesn't know what the fuck he wants with his life, that has drama, has baby mama like you you really trying to cuff this man sis you you like you really you really trying to cuff this man that doesn't show any consistency you really trying to cuff this man that only because you've invested a couple of years um but he treats you like shit or has cheated on you or lies or doesn't treat you like the motherfucking queen that you are you you really mm. like you at the end of the day you both have to be prepared you know women are that's 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 the thing that men miss right women that's that's women's you know ultimate goal realistically because we're we're fucking built like that we're raised like that like you know we're, women aren't necessarily built to want to fuck with different people at a time that's why they get so fucking heartbroken because they're like <sighs> I'm the princess, and I'm supposed to find my prince charming, and we're supposed to live happily ever after. That's 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 what's engraved in our mind since we're little, you know. So that's why we're like, oh my god, I really thought he was the one, and we get so fucking heartbroken, and then we have trust issues after the first heartbreak ever. <laughs> and most men, at least, are built differently. They're like, mm, I want to taste this, I want to taste that. Oh, I want to taste that. Oh, I want to taste that. Oh, I really like this one. Oh, I really like this one. I'm gonna keep her around for a little bit. But then he sees you're fucking mentally unstable. You have insecurity issues and all that. And he's like, ah, I don't know if I want to fuck with her like that. So automatically he's already checked you out. But you still keep opening your legs so he keeps sticking around to get some more. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it goes. Like, <laughs> be ready to receive somebody that's ready. And then ultimately you guys can fucking glow up together but most of you guys don't y'all don't really get that shit through your fucking head do better all of the story is it's time to take accountability for your own stupidity it's stupid what i'm trying to say by that is that <laughs> i mean it's 2020 we already know the slick shit the lies the inconsistency like, we already know what the fuck we're looking for in a person. If that person isn't fucking blowing your mind from the get consistently, then what the fuck are you doing? Why are you wasting so much fucking time? Why are you letting the slick shit slide? Most of the time, you have to take fucking accountability for your own fucking stupidity. Like, if you get played, that's on you, sis. <laughs> Moral of the story. That's on you. Stop blaming these niggas for, for doing shit that you are allowing them to do. That's really what it boils down to. I'm not saying that it's right. But when is that shit going to fucking register? Demon says. When is that shit going to register? The right person isn't going to have you, you know, making you feel like you're fucking losing your shit. The right person isn't going to fucking make you feel like you have to constantly be on your toes or walk on eggshells or even feels any type of insecurity. Why? Because that's why there's assurance. You know what I'm saying? That's why they don't allow certain people around them when they know that they're around for ulterior motives. That's why when somebody tries to do some slick shit, they communicate that to you and let you know like, hey, babe, 
this motherfucker think he's slick. Check this. You know what I'm saying? It's like little things like that that you have to literally observe. That you, some of you bitches are just like, whew. stop being so fucking blinded by the dream to find a fucking soulmate when you have yet to find yourself. Do I need to say that again? No. Some of you don't even know who the fuck you are because you're so accustomed. Trust me, I've been there. You're so accustomed from, to switching from relationship to relationship that all you ever know about you is what other people like, what other people don't like about you. You've never actually taken the time to fucking get to know you, what you do like and don't like about people, you know, besides dealing with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so fucking important to not feel the need to date or fuck your way through people to get to know yourself better. Make sense? Some of y'all really be like, yo, I'm so tired of getting my heart broken. I'm so tired of wasting my time. I'm so tired of them. <laughs> Some nigga pops up in your DM or just shows you any slight bit of attention because you're fucking lonely and have no standards. And you be like, hey, I mean, no. When it's stupid, like, no, 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 no. No, no, don't do it. If you are, if you truly deep down feel like all niggas are the same, that means that you have some healing to do. Because even if a great man was to come into your life, you'll probably still feel like he ain't shit. Like he's like the rest of them and not treat him how he deserves to be treated. So don't fucking do it. You lonely bitch. Don't fucking do it. Lastly, learn how to date. This is my last tip for the day because, pfft, Lord, learn how to date. A lot of people have this misconception that when there's a big difference between dating and actually being, you know, somebody's girlfriend and boyfriend. When you are dating, that means that you keep your options open. You just have to communicate that and be honest about it. You keep your options open. That means you can talk to multiple people at the same time. No, but this is what women do. They're like, they find one guy that seems like potential and devotes the next couple of months getting to know this dude. And then next thing you know, you realize he ain't shit. And then next thing you know, there goes the next couple of months. Just down the drain. Because you put, cause you put all your attention to this one dude. <laughs> I mean... I think that's an old school mentality. Like... Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna date you. No, like go on multiple dates, bitch. Like check to see what's out there. People used to think that that was such a bad thing because you're like, oh, you shouldn't be talking to multiple people. If you're talking to multiple people, you shouldn't be talking to me. Like that shit is so fucking stupid. That's how you set yourself up. That's how you waste fucking time. The problem is, is that bitches want to mix up dating with fucking around and actually being boyfriend and girlfriend and like all together like no bitches they're they're, se they're separate stages you know what i'm saying if you want to go on different dates getting to know different people seeing what they bring to the fucking table don't open your fucking legs i don't give a fuck how good looking they are don't open your legs you are dating because guess what once you involve sex all that common fucking sense bitch goes out the window anyways i'm fucking done i'll, pro I'll probably save that to one of our like date night conversations and actually dig deep because I think you bitches need it. I said it.